Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. I wanted to show you a do-it-yourself traveler's notebook that I made for my December daily this year. I made this using the box that the kit came in and I'm gonna show you how I went ahead and made it. So first we're just gonna look through it. This is an elastic band that it was the closure on the box and I just cut it off the box and did a little slip knot here so it, is, it has room to grow. If you look closely here, I have staples. Three staples that have shut it closed. One, two, three. And then I just used some of my ephemera and I glued that on the front. So it gives the illusion of having like some sort of wax seal at the top. I really like how it turned out. When you open it, I used just regular printer paper. I just used a couple sheets, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can see the inside of the staples here. And so this is the cover. I stamped the top and the bottom with my star stamp set. Then I added some silver stickles to it to make the stars kind of shine. And then I stamped Merry Christmas on the front. What Allie Edwards did was a date stamp. So she's going traveling to New York, so she dated it. I forget the dates, but like this would be like day one of her trip, day two of her trip, day three. So the whole trip is gonna be in her traveler's notebook. I won't be traveling this year, but last year Allie did a really cool interview with each member of her family, and they asked questions their name, their age, what they were currently into, their favorite holiday drink, uh, their most wanted gift, and their best memory of the past year. So I went ahead and I typed that out in Microsoft Word. I added um, their name. Uh, the font that I used was Nouvelle Vague. I'll have it, all the details linked in the description below. And then I just put the date, and my kids filled it out already. Uh, they did a rough copy and then they kind of neatly wrote in here their thoughts. So Riley did his, Cole did his, and then one for mom and one for dad. So let's go ahead and make one of these. I don't have any pieces of the box left, so I'm going to be using uh, 12 by 12 uh, gold foil hearts as the cover of my notebook. So before I begin, if you look closely, there's a bit of an overlap here. This overlap is part of this first piece. And I wanted this overlap because there was a natural fold in the kit box. So it has the nice score mark already, and it gives room, so when it's closed, it kind of bows open a little bit. I really want the extra room for adding photos, or like movie ticket stubs, or any memorabilia or whatever you want to add can be glued into here. So I find that the spine, if it's done this way, is a lot more sturdy. So let's go ahead and do that. And it measures right at four and a half. So let's go ahead and score this at four and a half inches. Actually, four and a half is where we need to cut, but I want to take it over a quarter of an inch. So at four and a quarter, is where I'm going to score because this overlap will give us the extra security we need to put the other side of the book on. So we're going to score at four and a quarter and I'll have the final measurements below. So we're going to score at four and a quarter. Perfect. So let's go ahead and cut this at the four and a half mark. Oops. 
there we go. So you have your cover of your traveler's notebook and you have this nice score line here. So we're going to go ahead and fold this. But keep this piece of paper because this is going to be your back cover. So we're going to fold on our newly made score mark. And this is going to really help make the spine a lot more secure. Because it's going to be opened and closed many times throughout the years. There, we'll just finish this. There, now you have your hinge that is going to open and close your traveler's notebook. And before we continue, we're going to measure this lengthwise. It is exactly eight and a quarter I measured. So we're going to cut this at eight and a quarter. There we go. So it's the right length and it's the right width. So there we go, eight and a quarter. Let's go ahead and do our back cover. So for the other layer, it's gonna be slightly smaller because it's gonna be adhered to the other side. So we're going to measure this at four and one eighth. by eight and a quarter. All right, now we have both pieces that we need. We're gonna set this aside. Now we're going to adhere this to the top. And we don't want it right on top because we want it to be able to bend. So put it slightly to the right. So there's a bit of an overlap. And this is what it's gonna look like so that when it's closed, it's completely flush to each other. So let's go ahead and put our tape right on this flap here. Now we're gonna line this right up. Perfect, so let's just press that in, get rid of any tape that's sticking out. We have our cover for our notebook. Now we just need to cut the papers for the inside. I grab some printer paper. And we're gonna cut this to size. So we're gonna rotate this paper and we're going to cut it at eight inches. We will score right on the four inch mark. Perfect. Now we have an eight by eight sheet of paper scored at four inches and it lines up perfectly now. And we'll score this right at the four inch mark. And we'll fold this. And we'll burnish the edges. Combine these together. And we have a perfect insert. And that is it. So all we have to do now is put in our paper. Make sure this overlap is in the back because we want to cover it with this paper. And there you have it. Your very own little insert for your December daily. I'm not going to staple it in yet because I plan to do some stamping. I'm going to add a title page and I'm going to stamp some numbers up in the corner with my stamp set. When you are finished, make sure when you lay it flat you staple this way. Your staples will end up being on the cover side, just slightly flush with this back cover. And you can use any paper that you want, you can decorate it however you want, and you can cover it with, you can close it with 
a magnetic flap or some ribbon, some twine. I just have an elastic band here. Lots of room for photos. I will go ahead and leave all the measurements in the description box below. If you have any questions, let me know. Before I go, I wanted to go over different things that you can include in your December daily. So I went ahead and printed out my own list of different things that I like to include in my December daily. So I went ahead and printed out my own list of different things that I like to include in my December daily. I have to admit that in December, I don't always take a photo every day because I have certain events in November that I have to include in my December daily. The kids' school concerts usually in November, um, the Christmas Santa parade in the city is in November, uh, we usually put our tree up in November, um, but there are some days in December I find nothing really ends up happening. It's kind of an at-home day or we end up sick. Or I'll, I'll include all that, but most days I do stick to the day-by-day -day activities. So in that case, if you don't really know what to do for a specific day because nothing really happened, uh, instead of de doing a December daily, like every single day, you can do December stories. So you can create a story for the day. I still use the numbers 1 through 25, and it doesn't really bother me too much if... Um, whatever I have for that particular day didn't happen on that day. So you can just share your stories. You can journal, you can add pictures if you want, you can really do any number of things. So here are some prompts that I have used in pretty much every December daily that I've done. A lot of people begin their albums with a reason why or some sort of word or phrase that gives them inspiration for the year. Like uh, this year, the word I'm going to choose is imagine. I think children think about Santa and the lights and all the magic of Christmas. They imagine so many wonderful things in their, in their mind. And um, so you can, you can pick a word or a phrase or you can just write your reason why. A lot of people begin their album that way. Um, every year we go to a work party. Um, my husband's work usually has some sort of ball or dance. Um, we go to, for dinner, we get dressed up. Uh, holiday baking, weather, I, I like to take a screenshot of what the weather might be like for that day, like if it's like a really bitter cold day or we get a lot of snow that day. Cutting down the tree, decorating the tree, um, the kids' school concert. Uh, you could even, if you have nothing for a particular day, you can actually take a picture of your favorite Christmas tree ornament or maybe some decorations from around the house. Um, me and the kids do a different craft every year. Sometimes we even like cut out little snowflakes from printer paper. We go visiting family and friends. You could um, document going to, to a cookie exchange every year. Uh, me and the ladies from my family, we each make one different cookie and then we all get together and we, we exchange cookies so we end up having a nice um, variety platter throughout the month of December. Uh, sometimes we do an ornament exchange or a gift exchange. We're always playing out in the snow, making snow angels, snowmen, going skating, sledding, um, snowball fight. Whatever you like to do in the snow, making a fort, um, just document all that if you'd like. <laughs> um, you can document any family traditions you may have. You can decorate your house inside and outside. We usually have our Christmas lights up outside um, in November as well. Uh, we like to get the gingerbread house kits where we make a gingerbread house. I... Another thing I do every year is I give Christmas cards out to family and friends and neighbors. I usually order them through Shutterfly. And sometimes I like to include an actual Christmas card or a Christmas family photo in our in my December daily every year. And if you're not giving out like a photo, you can um, just take a photo of whatever Christmas cards you're filling out. 
you can take pictures at the mall, whatever you may be shopping for at the mall, any gifts that you buy. You can do a day about your seeing Santa or sitting on Santa's lap, getting your picture taken with him. You can document writing letters to Santa. Every year we like to get a new holiday outfit. This past year we had a Lego advent calendar and it had like a little Lego scene that you had to build each day. My kids love Lego. You could document movies that you may be watching. I've been watching the Hallmark Channel and I've been watching so many Christmas movies already. You can document whatever favorite Christmas music you've listened to. You can take a picture of the gifts that you've been wrapping or what I've seen some people do is take a picture of their favorite designs of their wrapping paper. I have kind of a wrapping paper addiction so I have so many uh, rolls of wrapping paper. Uh, you can document Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, opening gifts. So every year we go to my mom's house for Christmas dinner. We each bring different food to her place. Uh, I always get a family photo taken, sometimes professionally, sometimes it's just a candid shot in front of the Christmas tree. Uh, what I've done in a past December daily is taken a picture. I, I did a selfie taking a picture of the ornament, like just a clear glass ball, mirroring my face, showing my reflection. That was a fun photo. Uh, favorite holiday beverage. Sometimes we go out and look at Christmas lights, taking a picture of any crafts, take a photo with your pets. Sometimes I dress my little chihuahua up in a cute little festive outfit. You can take a photo of all the gifts you received after you unwrapped everything. You could document some sort of random act of kindness that you do every year. Um, every year we do the Operation Christmas Child. It's like a shoe box that you fill full of Christmas goodies. And it's a lot of fun getting that box ready. Um, you could do something red. You could include your favorite hat and mitts you may be wearing that year. Or bundled up in your snowsuit. There, anyway, so these are about 40. I think I counted there were 41 ideas. So these are all the ideas of everything I've ever done. So even if you did 20 out of the 40 things in this list, you've got a lot to include in your album. And some days we'll have more photos than others. Some days will be uh, more eventful than others. But that doesn't mean you can't go ahead and document uh, what you may be thinking or feeling or, or doing at home, even down to just cuddling on the couch and enjoying some nice quiet time. I hope you enjoyed looking at the ideas that I like to include. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm not sure how many more videos I'm going to do regarding December Daily, but I will definitely show you my final December Daily when it's finished, and I will probably do another video on using some of the embellishments. If you would like, subscribe to this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!